Now that you have made it into part two, I'm pretty sure it is. We're actually gonna be doing lighting, which is fairly easy. It's the same as the bed was to tell you. I don't know if I upload that right, but yeah. So I'm gonna be um using an, an <laughs> I'm going going to be I'm going to be going to the world icon. I'm um, clicking this yellow button, then going to environment texture, clicking open, and I'm using this um sky photo by um Black Plasma Studios. So I'm gonna be using skylight blue, yeah. So now let me locate the sun. So the sun is actually over there. So I'm gonna be dragging this corner, going to shader editor, board, and I'm gonna be clicking control plus T, which will bring up this thing. Now I'm just gonna be playing with the X axis. Yeah, now the sun is over there. Let me actually move it to the front because I want it there a bit more. There we go, just like this. I'm gonna be setting the strength to 1.6, just like this. And I'm gonna be clicking Chef plus A, search, and hue saturation. And I'm gonna be putting it over here. And I'm gonna be bringing up the saturation. Like this. Another thing I'm gonna do is, let me actually go out of this mode. As I'm gonna be adding a sun, so show plus a light sun, and move this. And because the sun is actually coming from yeah over there, I'm gonna be moving the sun to be facing this, like this area. So now we have shadows and, and a sun, just like this. And I'm gonna be enabling ambient occlusion. And make sure you're using circle for this video. And I'm going to lower it down. There we go. So now as you guys can see, this is not that good looking of a window, I'd say. So what, <laughs> what else I'm going to be doing is adding a material to everything in the map. So as you can see on the original map, there's a sand texture, wooden planks, wooden planks, sand. Um, whatever this is and uh, basically all of these textures that in blender are not textured so there's actually this um material that was made by his name will be in the screen right now yeah, but he made this actually material thing that actually helps they're gonna go to append and the link is gonna be in the description material and a wand then you're like okay and uh, where is it so what you need to do now, let's say I want to texture this sand. I want to go to material. I want to click this material thing and click type in mat and it should show up. I'm pretty sure it's this. Yeah, mat 02. So now I'm going to be going into not word icon but object. And I'm going to be setting it to what was it? Sand. Let me find sand. Well, I'm blowing. There we go. I'm gonna be setting it to sand or the color of sand. I'm sure, you guys should know that. Let's see how it looks. Feels a bit green. There we go. Okay. So after that, another thing you need to make sure you do is you click this copy icon so that whenever you add this material to another like tree, word, or whatever, it won't actually change like the sand itself. Basically, just click material every time you want to add it to another thing. So let's say for example this street um what was it again it's concrete so i'm gonna be clicking the street then uh, the material should show up first and type in math let's see and click o3 and you're like oh it's sand oh, 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 what, what should i do it's okay click this um copy icon again and instead of sand you're gonna make it concrete and change the color to the same one and there we go and this texture should not change so now you're actually going to be doing this to the entire scene so i'm going to demonstrate this one more time you click the material thing you want to change it should show up right here you type in matte 
you click the copy you set it to whatever it was it was concrete and then it's green concrete let's wait a bit and there we go this is how you basically do it so i'm gonna be doing this to main parts of the scene like my bad um this wood the sand this house tree this uh basically everything that's in the view of the camera so i'm gonna be splitting this part up Okay, so a quick here, this is what I meant. Whenever you don't actually click copy, this is what is gonna happen. It's gonna get, like for example, then I click copy on this. So it basically got mixed with this. So make sure I actually do that. And here's this again. I didn't click copy, so this, was, this is what happens. So now that I think that I finished it, let me just make sure I didn't actually make another mistake. Yeah, I think we're good, to be honest. Anything else? Um, I don't think so, to be honest. For this window, I'm gonna actually turn down the alpha. So it's a little more see-through. Hey, great. So, last thing I'm gonna do is add guns, which is pretty obvious. So, I'm gonna delete the map. Go ahead and move these characters. And type in arsenal, but guns. So, what else can we add? Let's see, let's see, let's see. So, I'm gonna add this golden gun because it's nice. Okay, so this is one. Idigo, um, yeah, why not? And a RPG or some sort of rocket launcher I want. So let me quickly find one. Okay, there we go, I found the RPG. Let me just wait. Oh, okay, it's that type of, okay. And there we go. I'm group all of this together. And export this and move this into Blender. Now that we are finally made it into Blender, and finish moving this. Here's a quick tip if you guys don't know. Let's say if it's all group, grouped up together and you don't know how to like, um, depart it, or however you want to call it. You want to go into edit mode, pick C, hold in your mouse, like mouse button, and make sure it's all selected. Um, left or right click to like get out of this tab. I need to move left right. Type in, click in P and selection. And it should be like this. So I'm gonna do the same to this. Edit mode C, this, P, selection. Now I'm gonna set the origin to the gun itself so that it doesn't annoy me. So let me go ahead and select this. Shift plus S. An object, set origin to 3D cursor. Then we'll do the same to this. Tab, this, shift plus S, object, and set origin to 3D cursor. And yeah, for this. Make sure, yep. Now that we are done, I'm gonna move the guns up, just like this. And I'm gonna give everyone who needs the gun. So he gets an RPG. Just like I want it. Well, it actually looks better than I expected. There we go. So he has the RPG. Now, where are the other guns? Oh, I lost them. Okay, oh, there we go. 
So I'm gonna have her holding this done. Cause she's the main. There we go, there we go. Is this even the gun? Yeah. Huh. More than I expected. And a deagle. What is it? <clears throat> okay. Deagle goes to his hand. And we're done. I hope. This is okay. That is okay. Um. Let me just check. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna change the texture of this building. It looks way too brown and weird. So I'm gonna set it to maybe a little brighter because um maybe a lacking brown sort of. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna set it to this. And I think we're done. Yeah, we're done with this part. I'm not gonna be doing rim lighting because I don't want this tutorial to be way too long. So I'm gonna be rendering this, moving into Photoshop. So these are gonna be my settings. Uh, 1920 by 1080. And let's see, running on GPU cycles. I'm um, denoising. Yeah, why not? From here, it's just my preference because if you have a your own settings or something like that, you can go ahead and do it. These are just my settings. Um, yeah, I'm going ahead and run this and I'll see you guys in Blender. Yeah, I mean, I meant for Okay, yo, so instead of continuing that whole video, which is supposed to be 20 minutes, um, this is going to be a part 3, so part 3 should be up right now, right now, because the video is like 20 minutes and I know people are not going to watch it, so part two part three should be up right now so thank you guys for watching like sub i'm tired and yeah see you guys